Hi, this is Kevin for Sonovert.com. What you're listening to here is a score playing in Sound Booth, Adobe Sound Booth, software package that was available until earlier this year. And it's possible to choose the intensity level of the score. So we can move from very quiet, just the drums, something more solid. And we can add more and more punch until we get to the full on funky sound. Now, what I want to do is to take that sort of full sound and remove from it the drums. Sound booth doesn't allow me to do that. I always have to have the drums. So what I'm gonna do is to record the full track all the way through and then I'm going to record just the drums all the way through and I'm going to export those as WAV files and then I'm going to see if I can cancel out the drums using phase cancellation. Now we've headed over to Audacity and as you can see we've got the full sound, the drums. I've recorded the drums as uncompressed WAV file and also as mp3s and we'll test the mp3s against the uncompressed audio now I'm just gonna preview the full track and what I want to do is to also preview just the drums this is the uncompressed audio and it sounds good what I want to do next is to try out the combined sound. All right, so the next thing to do is to invert the phase for just the drums, and I'm going to invert the phase for all the drums, the MP3s, as well as the uncompressed WAV files. Now, once that's done, the drums should cancel out in the original full track. But first of all I'm going to sample them and as you can hear they sound just the same after I've inverted them. First of all, I'll just mute them to show you what it sounds like. Now I'm just going to gradually lower the gain on the drums. And you can hear the drums coming back in. Now I don't know if you were able to hear the drums at zero gain, but I can hear some drums at zero gain. And at minus 36, we've got pretty much the full sound but even here I can hear the drums just very very quietly so it's not perfect cancellation but it's very good now the trick works exactly in reverse So what happens if we check out the high quality MP3? Now it sounds awful simply because we haven't lined it up but I've now gone through and lined up both of the MP3s. The low quality one was even more misaligned than the high quality one. I have no idea why. Now, as you can hear there, there is lots of cancellation taking place. But it's a lot less than with the uncompressed file. Now, 
and that's the high quality MP3. Shall we try the low quality one? That's 32 kilobits per second. And even if we lower the gain and change it back to zero, there's not much difference. That's the high quality MP3. And that's the original. So the original web file is by far and away the best. High quality MP3 does better than the low quality MP3. Now, if you're interested in knowing how to go about aligning the tracks, then you'll want to take a look at one of my creating an acapella videos. Thanks for watching.